Hi there, Tammy here from Homemade and Homegrown. Today is going to be a pretty busy day today for me, um, but I'm gonna take you around to uh, look at my garden, see what's the progress that's happening there, and uh, the chickens. The chickens are doing well. I'm really excited about that. Um, unfortunately, we did lose one. I, uh, I had eight, so now we are at seven. The seven seem to be thriving, so that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. It's been beautiful weather here in New Brunswick and um, been drying up. We had a pretty wet spring, uh, but cool, cool days and nights as well. So it's just been starting to warm up now. Uh, today is um, June 22nd, so we're just starting to get our summer. <laughs> Usually it doesn't get any higher than 30 degrees here although I do think the other day we we reached 32 or 34 or something like that we should be getting some rain in the next day or two um, so what I'm going to be doing today is some pruning and some a uh, little bit of weeding and I'll just take you along with me and show you how to do that as for the chickens uh, their feathers are starting to come in it's unbelievable how fast they go from this cute little fluffy chick <laughs> into a grown chicken. Like I cannot believe how fast they grow. And you'll see that from uh, in comparison to the first video. If you didn't see the first video, be sure to go back and check that out and uh, well, you'll be introduced to the chickens. <laughs> but right now, before I start my day, I'm gonna sip on my coffee. Yes, mom, wife, boss, tis I. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna enjoy my my coffee here and we'll see you in the garden. Boy, she's some sunny down here. It's gonna make for a hot day, I think. And uh, that's great, but not good for the bugs. Pesky bugs flying around my face. Uh, we get a lot of horse flies and deer ticks and you name it. Anything that sucks blood. <laughs> so I'm going to take you around the garden. Just kind of show you. There's there's a few things that I've noticed so far that have made some progress. So that's uh, promising. So let's go. So here in my first box is green beans. Um, they've been in the garden for about a month now. They started out with maybe a couple leaves. So they've been coming along pretty good so far. Um, I'm surprised that they haven't uh, grown up a little bit higher, but we are getting more leaves. So I'm hoping that that's progress. My second box here that you see has a variety of different peppers that I wanted to try. Uh, this is pretty much more of an experimental box right here so that I can see which one I like the best. So I'll be able to uh, figure out that and then know what I'm gonna plant for next year. But I did plant a new tomato that I've never grown before. This one's called San Marzano. So I'm told that this makes a really good sauce and uh, it's quite meaty and more of a, uh, a longer looking tomato. It's not a round tomato. So we're gonna see how well that goes. And I just put this, this one in with my peppers. Now you'll see here, I've got two boxes of different types of onion. This side I have yellow, the other half is red. And this whole box is red onion. We love red onion on our salads and I love to cook with it. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty to have for the winter. Okay, so what you see here is peas. It's called sugar snap. We don't eat too many peas, but I did decide to throw in about six or eight plants of, uh, of the peas here along my fence. And we'll just see how they make out. But actually, they've been doing quite well. Now, who doesn't like to cook with rosemary, right? Especially for barbecue and things like that and uh, see how this goes. Really, it's it's going not too bad. It's been in here for a while, so uh, I just threw in some peat moss and manure and some uh, soil. Hopefully that should be enough 
to, to grow. Now my husband loves cherry tomatoes. I decided to get two pots and grow him some cherry tomatoes. Now these are going like wildfire. <laughs> they are just really like growing up nice and high, strong stems on them. Uh, we've got a few of the of the blossoms here. So it looks like it's going to be happy right where it's at. Same with this one here. This one's doing well, strong stems. So I think uh, my husband's gonna be quite happy with the cherry tomatoes that come from these. Now it's funny, I'm the only one who likes kale, so I didn't grow too much, but I know that I can just grab a few leaves out of here and uh, add it to my salad. So for me, I just figured two pots was plenty. So here what you see is buckets of potatoes. Uh, we don't eat too many potatoes either, so I just wanted enough that I could have in my cellar. But I've never grown potatoes in a bucket before, and uh, so I went online, of course, as we all do, and checked out different ways of doing it, and they're doing quite well. They're really enjoying it. One thing I've also noticed is no potato bugs. So knock on wood for that. I'm really excited about that. So we've got a few buckets here that are going at it. One, uh, well, two of them actually didn't get didn't get germinated, but the rest of them have been doing well. So as they grow, I'll add more dirt, and that's what I've been doing so that I'll get more potatoes in the bucket. But in these two buckets, I decided to try a variety of lettuce where I can just pick out of there and wash and make a beautiful salad. And then here I decided to grow some basil. It's a slow process, but we'll see what, what I get out of it. I love the look of sunflowers, so I just wanted to throw some, some of these in just for some color in the garden. Aren't they beautiful? So I've had some trouble with my cucumbers this year, and I haven't been having that great of success. So I've planted a couple times so far, and I've only got a couple that have that have survived. So I went and decided to put in other things now. So in this box, I do have two cucumbers that are trying to grow here, and another variety of pepper that I wanted to try as well. So this was another box that I decided to try some cucumber, um, and I'm noticing some more have come up now. I've already planted twice in this box as well, two rows of cucumbers, which equaled to 12 plants. So two showed up, and now over the last two days, I've noticed three more that have decided to pop up. So might have something there. I also decided to throw in another tomato plant here. Tomato plants are pretty versatile. I love that you can just plant them anywhere throughout your garden and you don't have to have one designated area. But I do have my canning uh, tomatoes by the house. So this box is all cabbage. It's been a slow process as well. I planted these from seed June 1st. They've been getting attacked by some bugs. So I've been trying to uh, keep an eye on them that way. I'm just praying that they'll they'll survive. And here you'll see some celery growing. Now this is actually from the store. After I chopped the, the end off, I put it in some water. I took it out and brought it to the garden. And it's going well. I did buy some seed though to plant. So in this box is spinach, nothing but spinach. So this box did originally start out as broccoli and I did two plantings as well. They weren't germinating and so the space that was left I didn't want to waste so I put in more celery and some Swiss chard. And in the back there you'll see four thriving, the only four broccoli plants that have survived. Now here's where you see my babies, I'm really, really hopeful that the green peppers that I'm trying to grow here are going to survive as well. 
I really prepped up the soil, added lots of nutrients to it. So yeah, we're gonna see how well this goes. Now we're at my favorite part of my garden, which is my zucchinis. Last night I noticed that the stems of them looked kind of weak, so I added some more soil around the base of the plant. So I think that's gonna help them grow a little bit sturdier. Get more leaves coming through. This is great. I think we're having a great year. Now these zucchini are called black beauties. It's the typical one that you get at the grocery store. I wanted to actually try planting the seed that came from the one at the store. So I did get two that have uh, sprouted. That's the first one, and right next door to it is the second one. And in this lonesome hole is two watermelon seeds that I really hope <laughs> will sprout up. Here are my cauliflower. I also planted this twice. I did end up getting five that have survived. Probably in the last week, they, the leaves have gotten bigger. And last but not least, I just recently planted uh, a brand of romaine, which is called Paris Island Cosmos. We'll see how that goes. And I did forget one last box here. This is just a small little box of strawberries. They've just finally started to grow more leaves and uh, eventually they should take up the rest of this box. And I threw in two other tomato plants as well that I've never grown. So these ones seem pretty quite strong for their stems. And I'm getting on this one here, I'm getting well about three blossoms on it already. And uh, so yeah, two other tomato plants that I've never tried growing. And that's, that's the beauty of having your own garden. You can see which ones you like the best and then when you figure that out that's what you grow the following year so so there's the garden so far so good everything seems to be looking up my husband does accuse me of being a little impatient and uh, I can't disagree with him God is good and I believe he is going to bless this garden now I promised you a trip up to the chicken coop to see how the little chicks are doing so let's go As you can see, their feathers are starting to grow in. They're losing their downy. These are only two weeks old. We got the three actually <laughs> that are already starting to show their pecking order. They established that quite early, but there they are. They are loving their new home. Got lots of room. Gotta do some cleaning, lay down some new newspaper. So here are my babies, my tomato plants. They're up here by the house where I can keep a good eye on them. <laughs> I have 16 or 17 plants here, but what I have in this box is the Romas and this box here is the Celebrities. The Celebrities look like they're doing quite well this year. The stems on them are just, they're so thick. So I know that this is gonna be a good crop. The small ones that you see there, they started from seed at a store. They don't seem to be doing too well here, but the ones that I planted, these big ones here, they're doing wonderful. So the tomato that I'm growing here is called La Roma the Third. This one seems to be pretty delicate, but grows a lot of leaves. But what you want to prune are these little suckler. When you see something coming out of the stem like this, just pinch that off. We've got one that's kind of growing over here. So pinch that one off. We've got a little one straight here. Just pinch that off. Just pinch those off. And I'm actually going to take this branch off because it's too close to the ground. You want to be able to create a big area here so that when it go grows straight up, you're not going to have leaves that are touching the ground. Let's see if we have any here that we can do. No, but we've got some nice blooms that are starting here. This one's looking real good. 
All these here are celebrities except for this one which is an early girl. I've never tried early girl before so I thought I would uh, just stick her in there. See how that goes. See what we can do to this one. Look how thick the stem is. It is so strong and sturdy. I am really pleased. Lots of blooms. Now I do also trim off some of the leaves that are on the inside. When you see blooms that are starting closer to the stem, you want to make sure that they've got some nice airflow. And sometimes what happens is these little leaves, you know, get bunched up in there. So we want to make sure that there's lots of air going through here and that the blooms are getting the sun that they need. Oh, we've got our first tomato right here. How exciting. Actually, there's two of them. Oh, that is wonderful. Thank you, God. Oh, there you have it. Little tour of the garden. See what my tomatoes are doing. And you got to see the chickens. Again, I can't believe how fast those chickens grow. I'm just glad that they're happy with their new home. And uh, I can't wait for late summer for when they start laying their eggs. I just found out that the delivery date for my Meat Kings is going to be the 8th or 9th of August. So I'll be sure to bring you with me on that day as well to pick them up. So I can't wait for that day as well. So I want to thank you for coming to visit me today. I'll be back next week with another update of the garden and the chickens. So stay tuned and I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye for now.